Bunyan, please let me curl up on your knees and cry. I haven't been able to crack this damn wall for a span of moons, and why? My head is like a valley half full of water, one side drenched in ecocidal slaughter, the other half empty, bone dry. It's held by something I don't remember constructing. Must have mortar in my bones and stones in my shoes so no tears flow. I take that stone out and hold it, walk and walk up river to resolve it. One small stone in the right location could change the course of a river. That's my motivation. As I march past the valley of my unspent tears, up into the highlands seeking the source of my fears, all the dreams I held onto throughout all these years, I've got to face them, see them for what they are, cardboard spaceships taped together to chase a star. The flood will have to stay, waiting for the waking of my inner end to amuse the death of this kin with a grief and rage up pent. Who watches the lungs burn, uncoupling us from the oxygen for which our cells silently burn. We all need to cry, but under every bridge sits an active troll and everything seems howlingly, scarily funny and sad. But I can't cry yet, it's getting sunny. So just a soft smile and a slight droop in my shoulders. Finish the paperwork all neatly organized in folders. As Pandora's lap gift slips away. There was a minute there, Kuan Yin, when I was walking in the fernery, re reflecting on the subliminal ternary. I saw a bench placed there to remember some ordinary man who was a consistent member of some ordinary society. I thought about his life over now and mine, whether there would be ferns in such variety or trees to make benches from in the world to come. I felt like I almost could have cried, but it slipped away when I tried. When I turned to look, it took fright like eyes in the night. I feel a tear in my eye, Kuan Yin, but it's only dust. My emotions are like an old lock tight with rust. I don't trust this cut up from my feelings. The notion that men don't cry leaves no space for healing. It's a myth that must die, philosophically, inside of me. This valley of tears will one day burst free and douse the forest fires of mankind. But the biblical blood that pours from my eyes will no doubt add to the sea level.